Hey YouTube, it's just Brandy and let's talk love and hip hop Atlanta. So this episode we finally pick up where um, we left off with the fight between Tokyo and um, Sierra. And where we left off was the altercation between Scrap and his baby mama, um, Sierra, but we've left them. So in this episode, uh, we also um get some of the spice and mimi and the skin lightning um thing too so um on a positive note of uh, this episode they showed um scrappy and bambi um deliver their son breland um, who this obviously was taped a while ago because he's like I feel like he is he one everybody's baby is turning one now it seems like but anyway um, Nene took Spice to some historically significant uh, places in Atlanta you know Atlanta was um, a big part of the civil rights movement so she took her to Ebenezer Baptist Church and um, she took her to the Madam C.J. Walker Museum, which kind of backfired because, of course, Madam C.J. Walker is credited with a lot of um, hair care products and with the pressing comb. And the pressing comb would have been um, the first way for African Americans to straighten their hair before the invention of the relaxer. So, you know, Spice is like, so why were they straightening their hair to be more European, to be more acceptable, which is the same reason that I want to like my skin. Now, they started with an apology, but then they kind of still got back into it, which Spice's whole point is that Mimi cannot relate to her because she is a lighter skin tone so she's never experienced so that is true but she's still black so at the end of the day here you know white people don't care how light you are they're still going to treat you black now in her spice country in jamaica like the man said skin bleaching is socially acceptable over there over here if somebody said they was going to bleach their skin we would everybody would shun it regardless it's not acceptable but in jamaica it is common practice even in asia they lighten their skin skin bleaching creams in africa and stuff like that it is a very common practice in other countries it's just not a common practice in the united states so they're never going to be able to see eye to eye because they're from two completely different places and they have two completely different viewpoints so it is what it is um spice had released a picture where she you know was um was light and then she did an ig live where she was like but this is all just for the video and the song that she have called black hypocrisy but the way that she's coming off is that she even though she have the song black hypocrisy that she really is wanting to bleach her skin but i guess we'll find out um, from what everything had came out later it was all just like a marketing thing for her song um so scrappy um jacques and um Kurt all met up and went to the go-kart place and Scrappy who had gotten in a car accident was scared to get in a go-kart so Jacques and Kurt did the go-kart and then they sat around and talked and Jacques re um, revealed to them that he had this girlfriend which is the attorney which nobody knew about and they like but I thought you was messing with Cardi I just heard you on the radio with Cardi did it overlap and he like yeah it was a little bit of overlap he's so messy he claimed he's so in love but but yet you was cheating like so messy so then you know so he, Jacques is still trying to figure out if he should let the new girlfriend 
come to Carly's um, engagement party because the new girlfriend is like wanting to come what's the purpose of hiding you know if you don't have nothing to hide and so then Scrappy is like well you need to tell your girl that you was messing with Carly while you was messing with her because if she don't know trust and believe Carly gonna let let it out the bag and she gonna do it and mess up your whole situation so be in your best interest to you know basically control your situation and let her know on your terms versus um you know letting somebody else reveal it but you just said it on national tv on this show so you have no choice at this point because she would be watching this and finding out anyway so i guess he's going to tell her uh kurt uh contacts his baby mother uh mother and grandmother who he said who the way that kurt has this thing set up because of rashida because basically i guess rashida said in order for us to get back together you can't have no contact with jasmine and regardless of the fact that this is your child so at, when they first got back together they hadn't took the dna test he, he didn't want to take the dna test so then he finally did take the dna test and it turned out that the baby was his but in order for her to get back with him she decides that she don't want him to have no contact with Jasmine. So Kirk's um, 20 some year old daughter with a grandchild that's older than his sons, his last two sons, the one by Rashida and the one by Jasmine, is now the in-between. This is the one that said, I got a baby brother and I want to get to know him. And she reached out to Jasmine to go meet Cannon. So now she's the in-between. So she has she contacts jasmine because she's cool with jasmine and then she let her dad know her dad is not allowed to contact jasmine directly per rashida now because i and i guess because she felt like she disrespected her on multiple levels when she that season where she was traveling around trying popped up at her event and everything like that because she just wanted to talk to rashida wanted to talk to rashida or whatever you know like they did a whole bunch of shenanigans when she was in that three-way relationship with the guy out of prison and um that girl so rashida don't want nothing to do with the girl but at the end of the day y'all got a child together you you can't have your daughter being a go-between and you need to set it up she's this was like you need to control your situation with your wife and your mistress okay so uh he goes to meet with the grandmother and the great-grandmother of his baby saying he has concerns because he feel like jasmine party too much well here come jasmine to the to the sit down which kurt didn't know and and he so he like i think you party too much she like i went the one part what are you talking about you don't even come around for nothing that boy like too you ain't never been around at all you ain't never had him I ain't been to no birthday party holidays nothing so what you talking about you don't feel like i'm present you definitely ain't present he like well i pay a lot of money money is not parenting he talking about well why is he in a pull-up she said because he's two and trust and believe boy my son did not get my sons i didn't potty train until they were three boys they you know people do girls before they even turn two but boys be on some difference so and each child is different as well so she like is this you or is this somebody in your ear exactly R rashida got so much to say but yet she don't want no relationship with jasmine and they got this baby to raise you know they got a baby and it's been volatile from the start he denied this baby for the whole first year you know what i'm saying he like well now that he's coming over more and they like he need to be right you know he need to be what you want first of all y'all don't even know this man y'all don't know nothing about this man besides she slept with him just because somebody slept with him do not mean that you need to be sending your baby off with them they may not be fit as a parent now kurt got like 19 kids but that don't mean he's a good father just because he have a lot of kids and then you sending your child over to the home of a woman who do not like your daughter. And so you don't know how she going to treat the baby. So tell me, he need to be more, spend more time, spend more time. That may be good. It may not like 
you need to see what the interaction is. Maybe the baby don't like you see how he was with Rashida. He was like, no, no, no. He didn't want nothing to do with Rashida. He may not want to be over there. That may not be the best fit for him. Even though they got, you know, Rashida got a, a toddler and he a toddler. You know, who knows? That may not work out. So it's like y'all just want, I think y'all just want some free time. So anyway, they really didn't get no resolution with that. And like um, everybody was saying, there is no reason that Kurt should not have Jasmine's phone number. That Jasmine should not have Kurt's phone number. She should not have to go through his daughter to let him know something about his son. If an emergency happened, she should not have to go through Kelsey to let Kurt know. She should be able to contact him directly. That's the father. Your wife don't like it. Oh, well, you shouldn't have slept around. That's the situation you put yourself in. But there's no reason that we as parents should not have contact with one another. Neither one of us don't like each other and don't want each other. It ain't on no fuck shit. So we need to have each other's contact for the child while he's a, a young age when he gets old enough to be able to communicate for himself then no we don't have to have no contact but right now where he can't communicate anything we need to be in contact uh tokyo vanity and sierra met up with shakana and shay mac um with the whole workout thing it kind of went left because uh feelings was still there regarding the whole you know throwing out of the food and you know sierra trying to boss um tokyo around and tell her what she need to do with her weight in her life which is not her place you'd be concerned but you could not tell her what to do so she kind of fell out with everybody tokyo kind of fell out with everybody and left uh, then we see shay mack who is yet another cast member of the many 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 cast members that they like to have on love and hip hop it's like it'd be too many cast members and too many storylines you can't keep up so Shay Mack who was on love and hip hop years ago I, I think back then she was trying to be a rapper well now she's a DJ but I guess she ain't been DJing because she had a baby whose name is Ginger I never met a black girl named Ginger so she got this baby Ginger by this rapper made man who I ain't never heard of who allegedly has a hit song but I ain't never heard it or heard of it so these two um, individuals had this baby ginger and so the baby looked like she about three she ain't no little baby and Shay Mack says that while she had this baby she haven't been working and made men have been having to hold down the household but she's ready now to go back to work and get the dj in now i don't know how he been holding down the household because like i said i ain't never heard of the nigga and i ain't never heard of none of his music but atlanta is big for having local artists they'll play their songs on the radio and i guess you know they have shows and stuff like that so maybe he's just big in the atlanta area i don't know like i said i ain't never heard of nobody's made man so she decides that she's been offered a a job djing like a residency and she wants to take it but it would mean basically while she's working whatever nights that she's working at this club that the daddy gonna have to watch his baby like okay that's parenting so it was his birthday and um she had little balloons and everything and he was like oh i'm about to go shoot this video like who don't spend their birthday with their girl it's that she had a whole little setup and everything and then you tell me today like if you okay if you a rapper and you got a whole video shoot. And I'm your live-in girlfriend, baby mama. Okay? How come I don't know? Why would you tell me in the moment that I'm like, oh, yeah, happy birthday. Here go your gift. Oh, I got to go because um, I'm about to go shoot this video. Like, 
video you gotta pay for it you gotta set it up if it's models you gotta do like cast things like this is something that you plan for so this would have been something that we discussed something we put on the calendar like okay the video is here logistically you gotta be here at this time or whatever like call time is this um so if it would have been on your birthday, like I would have knew that you was doing that on your actual birthday. So I would have planned like, oh, okay, well, since you got to work on your birthday for the video because availability or blah, 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 we're going to celebrate your birthday on this day or what, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand, but anyway, so I think that was just about everything that happened on this episode of uh, Love and Hip Hop. Um, we did see Mama D and uh, Bambi's mama, whatever her name is, um, come to a truce regarding, um, you know, the whole baby situation or whatever since the baby was going to be born. So we see how long that lasts. On um, this next episode coming up, we're going to see Scrap Mama uh, KK come for T. Eris and she put her hands on Scrap and basically jeopardized his freedom and uh yeah so that's my recap i will see you next week for my next